Hmm. Today my eyes have seen shaggy. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your home girl Bokola. Temini Kombokola. To my own subscribers, thank you for coming back. And to the new ones, you're welcome. Today I'm in my emotional mood. I'm currently in the school of my son and um, I was feeling somehow like feeling sad. <laughs> like I feel like crying. I really don't know. I, I know why. So my second born divine started school today. And um, you guys know that we moved house already. So we moved house to another part of all. We are still in all, but we moved house to another part of all. And I have to drive like 30, 35 minutes to the old school because we've registered them there already. But now we have we've applied for transfer to a new school around the house. I have to actually drop my last my last the baby with somebody just to be able to bring the elder ones to school i'm already used to this old school my son is already used to the school too he has friends here already but having to transfer to a new school i'm kind of scared but i need to face reality it's not easy to drive down we've applied for the new school but they've not responded yet but you know they will respond def definitely but i'm my head is just wrapping around presently i have to wait because divine is only allowed three hours daily that is it can is only entitled to 15 hours in a week that means that it does five days three three hours i can't go back home presently i have to still wait back in the school just to wait till 11 30 there about 11 30 11 45 when it's going to close because it doesn't make sense if i drive home 30 minutes if i drive home now 30 minutes that would be like 9 45 9 30 i would wait for like few minutes drive back i'm going to spend another one hour i'm going to spend four if if the car is faulty i have to take a bus for like one hour one hour 15 minutes or one hour 30 minutes to this place reality speaking it doesn't make sense for us to still be in the school but you know when your child is already emotionally attached to the school and you yourself this school is lovely i love the school maybe because i've not seen other people i've not gone to other school but the the stuff they have for the children in the school i love it they used to have some like a play group for the children for the siblings of the the student that they have there i really hope the new school will have it i've spoken to the proprietor and then she assured me that they're going to speak to the admission team in the city council you can actually do transfer for your child through the city council but you know transfer might take time not really time like that it might not take long time in the space but for my son to adapt in the new school and another thing we've not gotten sponsorship we don't know where we are going we might end up living home if we do we have to change school again and that is getting to me you know trying to change school twice three times these are the things that we thought of too before we before getting the accommodation we were really looking for accommodation in this area but seriously it's not easy to get family good accommodation like that in this area that was why we have to move and i'm kind of feeling i'm feeling down i have to call my husband and like my husband is not around so it's just me and um he is even saying that if i start work or if i'm in the office how is he going to do with the three children take them to school and like but if the school is close by i'll be able to just walk down in 10 minutes we're already in school but this one sometimes when we drive to school before the school closes last time when we are driving quickly to school it will just be saying mommy are we not yet in the school are we not yet in the school yet? i'll just keep saying we are almost in school we are almost in school sometimes they will say it will slip off in the car because there might be traffic sometimes but not like serious traffic but there might be traffic and it gets home tired sleep and just tired 
Oh, now I'm waiting for Divine to finish class. How I'm going to do myself tomorrow, I don't know because today I saw somebody to drop him weight, to drop baby, the small baby weight. Tomorrow I have to drive him together with Divine, with three of them. And sometimes when they are in the car seat, the baby will be crying and you will even lose focus. You will lose attention. You'll just be saying, calm down. You hold that. You, oh God. Dilemma of a mom of three. Dilemma. Seriously. And, but it gets better. We trust God to do a better job for us, do something better for us. So we'll have to be changing school. I really don't know what God plan is yet. I really don't know what God's plan is, but I know his plan are for good and not for evil. He got us. Yeah, he got us. But as I spoke to the proprietor, yeah, she just assured me that they are going to make sure the transition is okay. That they are going to, she's going to call the admi admission team in the city council for me. And they are going to get the new school that is going to, Pikwe is going to go to. Pikwe, Pikwe is the one that I'm really disturbed about. Divine is still small. She's just starting his first day in school today. So, but it's just 15 hours. We can actually get him. He can start newly. But they said they are going to help Pikwe transition well. And I trust them because they said they're going to get pictures of the school, show him the pictures, take him around, let him understand this new class, let him see it before you really start. Like they're going to help him with the transitioning and let him know the reason why he's moving. I know it's a lot, but... And people is, is getting grow, is getting old now. This guy is this six years already. Is is yeah, when did I born this boy? I'm a big mama now. <laughs> Thank God, my smiley. The other time I was about to, laugh, to cry, but anyway, I'm not gonna cry. This children will be fine. This children is gonna be fine. And to the mothers out there that you are already also scared of your children, just trust God. Just trust God to do wonders. Just trust God to do greater job. Just trust God to finish what He has started. So I'm waiting presently. Oh, and I saw a YouTuber in the in the school. I saw a YouTuber, one of my YouTube family. He had, she actually hugged me and greeted me. And she was ha so happy. I think they are new sets that just came in. To those people that are just coming into all, God will give you bearing. And if you need to change school for your child, if you need to um, to get the child into new school, you need to go through the city council, register with the city council. You can also walk down to some of the school. Somebody still asked me yesterday for three years old, can they have free funding? Yes. Um, and sometimes it's good for the child if you can see a school that has preschool, like a normal school that has preschool, so that you won't have to change again. Just like now, if Divine is going to go to a school that Pikwe is, so we won't have to change him because some people will do nursery in another place, then come again to primary school when it is four years. When it is four years. So if you are three years, just try to see if you can see a primary school that has a preschool so that has nursery in the primary school it's easier that way you won't have to keep you won't have to change school again then um for the two years if you have if you're if you're still in the threshold of um i think twenty three thousand, um your annual income for both you and husband you can you you are entitled to two years funding i'm going to write it here i'm not so i'm not so correct about the 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 amount you must be earning as a parent so but if you're a student presently and you just moved i think you you, you should be qualified just apply and go to the nursery go to any nursery around you it might, not, it might not be a normal school we can go to nursery that that have two years funding and try to apply because they will check for your statement of account they will check what you are doing they will ask for you to bring your pay slip and like so if you are qualified they will give your child two years funding so instead of taking the staying let them stay at home they can actually do 15 hours so but yeah in england now you can do free funding for two years but three years automatical they have 15 years funding 15 hours funding and then they don't need to get disturbed about their 15 hours but some some places will allow them to do three times in a week some will allow them to do normally they're meant to do five times in a week three days three hours a, a day but some people will allow you to do five hours in three days why some will allow you to do maybe six hours in two days so it depends let's see 
my tired is finally tired. See the wallet I'm going through right now. Because this boy, he'll be crying inside the car seat. I have to stop. Pack somewhere and feed him. Look, he's currently breastfeeding. And I have to go and pick his brother. Hmm. Today, my eyes have seen Shige. I was, I told you guys that um, I was told that they will help us do this school. They've called, actually called, and people school is, has been finalized. So I've gone to the school to fill form, and you start the, tomorrow. That's the next day, you guys. You will start tomorrow. So I was told you can start school tomorrow by 8:15. But divine, we were told to fill form down, and then they will let us know if there's space. So I won't have to be driving down. It's been a long time I drove this long distance. Ah, go to soon. Go pada. Go soon. Go tapata. Like I am very, very tired. It's really good that I can just help me as I am like this.